And the other was this concept of future search. This large group meeting, strategic planning meeting, you could think of it that way, which enabled you to bring together all of the stakeholders, that's the language that I think Eric Triss may have developed along with Fred Emery, maybe right here at Penn, it's possible, to look at the whole system together and improve the whole system. And the fruit of that work that I've been pursuing for a long time became this three-day meeting called Future Search. This is the third edition of the book. First one was published in 95. It's an all new version with nine new chapters, including a lot of the research uh, that describes the methodology in detail. So if you want to learn how to do future searches, this is your cookbook. And also has a lot of information on the applications. Future searches have been done now in most of the world's cultures. Uh, they've been used in the Sudan to get child soldiers out of the militias. Uh, recently, members of our network trained a group of Sudanese to go into Darfur to do peace building activities. They've been used to improve water quality and reduce iodine deficiency in Bangladesh. Uh, recently, we did one right here in Philadelphia on the re-entry of prisoners from the prison system into society. There's practically no issue that you couldn't run a future search on if you could set it up right. And when we started the future search business in the 80s, uh, none of us knew that this was going to go around the world. That was a phenomenon that just, just happened. It happened largely by word of mouth. Nobody marketed it. And I've been speculating for a long time about why that could have or should have happened, but I want to tell you a little bit about one, one wing of that. The important thing about future search <coughs> is that it embodies a particular set of principles which, if you can apply them in, in just about any situation involving this, this mix of potential and, and probla, problems, is likely to lead to a highly constructive outcome. Uh, the way that I like to think about future search is that the purpose of this three-day meeting is to transform people's capability for action. And if we can't do that, we don't want to hold the meeting. Now, what do I mean by transform people's capability for action? What I mean is that on Monday morning, a system, as a system, is capable of doing things that people considered impossible the previous Wednesday. That's, that's the name of this game. And in order to play this game successfully, uh, you need to understand how to apply the principles. So let me talk to you a little bit about the principles. So I'm now talking just about this quadrant. One way to do it, the name of this game is Future Search. It's a three-day strategic planning meeting. But it's also, uh, for me, a, an integration of everything that I ever learned and a learning laboratory, I think, for the 21st century, if you're trying to manage and consult under conditions of nonstop change and increasing ambiguity and complexity. Uh, 